Jewish Channel's Week in Review. Helping Ethiopian children with Israeli pop stars, a welterweight boxer who's a heavyweight on Jewish ritual, a new comedy show offers quirky takes on Jewish life, and more of the Jewish news that's changing your world in this webcast version of the Week in Review. Hello, and welcome to the Jewish Channel's Week in Review. I'm Stephen I. Weiss. This Saturday night, Orthodox Jewish boxer Dmitry Salida heads into the ring for a title fight. And TJC's Rebecca Honig-Friedman interviewed Salida to get his thoughts before the bout. He's an undefeated boxing champ and an Orthodox Jew from Brooklyn. And this Saturday night, he has a chance to win the light welterweight world title in England. Dmitry Salida's entire boxing career has been leading up to this exciting match. And after lots of hard training, he says he's ready to win. Definitely, you know, the hardest I ever trained, the furthest I ever ran, you know, the more rounds I ever sparred. Uh, and we started camp early. You know, my weight is the best it's ever been. So uh, I'm definitely ready. So what will this nice Jewish boy be eating on the day of the match, which is taking place just after Shabbat? Fight day, it's after the weigh-in. So maybe I have a little bit of chalant, uh, maybe some cereal in the morning and a turkey sandwich. Uh, and uh, uh, maybe a little piece of cake. And ready to rumble. It's a world title match, but there's another reason Salida's fight is making headlines. The defending champion Amir Khan is a Muslim, making this the first time that a Muslim and an Orthodox Jew will go head to head in the ring for a world championship belt. To hear what Salida has to say about going up against a Muslim, see the full broadcast version of the Week in Review. Thank you, Rebecca. The plight of Ethiopian Jews in Israel is being addressed by a new organization here in the United States and they're bringing in Israeli pop stars to help spread the message. Rebecca Honig Friedman and Margie Rauhat report. Popular Israeli musician Idan Reichel drew a crowd for a cause at a New York City nightclub last month, playing at a benefit for Ethiopian children. It's a cause with which Reichel has first-hand experience. Uh, I worked as a counselor, as a guardian of boarding school, in a youth school, uh, guided there uh, the teenagers who came from from, from the villages uh, of, uh, of East Africa, from, from Ethiopia, from the refugees camps uh, in, um, in Gondor. Uh, this was the first time for me to really to understand deeply the, the identity problems of this community. The concert was the main event of the evening celebrating Ethiopian culture and raising money for a new venture called Project Tesfa. It's a project through which we raise funds and awareness for Ethiopian children for forward thinking, uh, for education, for food. It will be facilitated through NACOSH, through North American Conference Ethiopian Jury. To find out more about this cause for Ethiopian Jews and hear more from one of Israel's biggest rock stars, see the full broadcast version of the Week in Review. Thank you, Rebecca and Margie. Finally, comedian Yisrael Campbell is someone you've seen on TJC before, both in a documentary called Circumcise Me and in our TJC original series, Holy Days. Campbell has modified the stand-up comedy act that brought him to our attention into a one-man off-Broadway show, currently running at the Bleecker Street Theater in Manhattan through February 28th. The show, Circumcise Me, shares Campbell's journey from a lapsed Catholic to eventually an Orthodox Jew. And there's a special bonus in store for theatergoers at select performances. Campbell has invited other notable figures to share their own religious journeys in a talkback series after some shows. TJC caught the inaugural installment of this series with comedian Judy Gold, who shared her feelings about her son's recent bar mitzvah. I'm gay. I was on the beam up with my ex-partner, her girlfriend, me and my girlfriend, standing there, uh, and we opened the yard. It was an amazing thing with my son standing there. And then when he held the Torah, I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but I don't really care. Um, <laughs> but when he held the Torah and walked around and we were behind him, his four moms essentially, uh, but I was standing right behind him and he's holding the Torah and we're walking through the shul and the, s the sanctuary and the I had never, I had never walked with the Torah and the faces coming at you saying mazel tov, mazel tov, ma and I just, that was the most moving thing I think ever happened to me. Gold also told about her efforts to say Kaddish for her father while on a stand-up tour. I was doing stand-up and I, I would work on, you know, I would go to all these cities and I made sure I said more Kaddish every Saturday and I'd find these synagogues. I was about, I was 27 years old, and I would go on the road, and you know, all the, you know, all the other comics were like, <gasps> yeah, shooting up, and, and you know, they're screwing all the waitresses, and I'm, I'm like, do you know if there's, and I'm looking up conservative <laughs> shuls around the area, 
And that was my favorite part of the week, was sitting there and listening, and I, no matter where I was, I felt so safe. And I, it was, it's just moments like that. I feel like part of a community, part of a, a people. That's all for this week. For more news and analysis from the Jewish Channel during the week, please check out our blog at newsdesk.tjctv.com. For the full broadcast version of the Week in Review, including additional stories, interviews, and features, please stop by the Jewish Channel on cable. From all of us here at the Jewish Channel, be well. The Jewish Channel is available on cable. IO Optimum Cable Channel 291, Time Warner Cable Channel 528, RCN Channel 268, Verizon Fios Channel 900, and Cox Cable Channel 1. For more information, visit tjctv.com.